So bring us a figgy pudding. What are you singing? You don't know that song? No. What? I do not know that song. I've never heard that in my life. Oh, you've heard it. And maybe you've changed the word. What? So bring us the figgy pudding? Yeah. I'm serious. I have never heard we that. We won't ever. go until we get some. We won't go until we Wait, get some. Wait, I know that tune, but that's not the song. Wait. Is that a Christmas song? That's when you have figgy pudding. I think it's a different word. Though. Well, then you've heard it. The second verse I've heard. I haven't heard the word. I've heard that. The. We wish you a, a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. That's it. Yeah. That's figgy pudding. Figgy pudding. You've heard it. <laughs> Wait. It's called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. So bring us the figgy pudding is one but of the verses. But it's called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Yes. Thank goodness. I thought I'm going nuts What about here. you've never heard it in your life? I haven't. I haven't heard the word you said. You said <laughs> the figgy pudding. Even though I, they may have been played, I did not hear figgy pudding at all. It's pretty much the only um, figgy thing I know. Figgy reference. I'm blown away. I thought it was just we wish you a merry Christmas, and they just keep saying that. No, there's other um, like there's birthday. other lovely verses. Oh, I don't, I don't know them all. Else. I don't know them all. I just know the figgy hey, pudding. Goodness, you don't know them all. Okay, well we're gonna make fig brew. I just got educated. It's a. Remember how I said maybe it was from bark or something? Yeah. I don't think so, because it says adding fig brew, roasted figs, to your daily routine promotes a healthy lifestyle by feeding your body a powerhouse of essential nutrients. Just figs are powerhouses? I don't know. I really don't know. But I saw this in our um, in the autoimmune protocol group on Facebook. They just said, what are you guys doing about not having coffee? And somebody said that they tried this. So I was like, I need to try that. And they had samples for like four bucks or something, but I just bought the big can because... That's the big can of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> That's the big one. I bought the big one. Well, I'm assuming... Maybe you don't use much. It says to brew it like coffee, so... I mean, you might not use much of the grounds, though. Maybe. Is there caffeine in it? I don't think so. Look on your things there, your nutrition facts. Um, they have to say that, right? It just says stuff... Oh, yeah, caffeine zero. Hmm. But um, it's got calories, so this would break a fast, I'm assuming. But it, this is the Mellow Mix. They have one that's mixed with coffee. It's coffee and fig. So you get both. Caffeine. Yeah. Uh oh. Something that I can't have apparently. Ingredients: coffee, comma roasted fig. What? Oh no, I got figgy. I got figgy. Okay, they check marked figgy, which is what I got, and the other one, the Mellow Mix, oh. is the other one. This is Figgy. I almost started saying we wish you a Merry Christmas. I know. Okay, so we got Figgy, which they just marked it because they put a check mark on okay. there. But it says Figgy on the bottom, roasted. It says Fig Brew. Okay, prepare like coffee, five grams of Figgy plus eight gra ounces of water. We could do that. We have water. Five grams of Figgy. But if you prepare it like co prepare it like coffee, coffee's eight and a half grams per eight ounces of water. It says on here of the mellow mix, but we're doing the figgy, so it's, it's probably, less than normal coffee. It's probably stronger than coffee. I don't right? know how much to do. Five grams. Do you have a scale? I do. Scale it up. Put a little okay. thing there. And... Well, let's smell it. Nice little tin. Oh, don't fly out! Don't fly out! Hmm. Interesting. It smells figgy. Okay. Doesn't smell bad. Thank you for oh. choosing Fig Brew. 10% off and free shipping. Use shipping code below. Shipping really one. Smell. If anybody wants to use that coupon later. Shipping one. Because they probably put that in every single one. Well, so. just, you didn't really get it. It's not bad. It's just after smelling it. It smells would... exactly like um, fruit leather. Or fig newtons. Yeah. Figgy. I feel like I'm catching a hint of coffee in there. Well, you're gonna get hopped up on the on get the hopped fig. Hopped up on the C or on the F. The fig. No, I only smell figgy. Okay, well I'm gonna um, make some of this, and while it's brewing in the brewer, I'm making a half a batch of coffee. Um, oh, you actually brew it and everything. We're brewing it like coffee. It says. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like the. You have a mate. I must have donated our, or broke, maybe I dropped it and broke it, our French press. But we I break have, things all the time. We've had so many French presses come across our table. 
I might have donated it because we just never use it because we have every other kind. So I might have donated it. I don't know. I did keep one for a long time though. And I looked above the fridge and I thought that was where it was. But it we'll probably find one. So okay. we're going to brew it. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be eight grams. Can I have one of these with Yeah, you? we're having a cookie. Uh, five grams of figgy per eight ounces of water. Okay, so pause. Pause it. Okay, come on back. It's brewing. We'll play a game. Okay. Also, I got you a present. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he come, oh. I didn't get you anything. Well, you know. He's playing games with me as my present. Oh. Okay. You know our favorite thing in the world? Is the Death Wish coffee. That's good coffee. I ripped it open to make sure it was gonna fit before I got your hopes up. And it's a nice shirt. Death Wish. They had a special limited edition. You had to buy it like that day. Show. You it's guys really are soft. I can't believe this. This is freaking awesome. Look How at perfect that. is that for you? Oh my goodness. It was like a limited edition Sasquatch shirt. That's a nicely done. Feel how soft it is I'm, too. I'm feeling it. It feels, it's just softer than Putty's belly. Aww. So soft and so cool. That is really cool. You putting it on there? Okay, put it oh, on now. gift. You gonna take your tank top it's off? Got a thing on the back also. I know. But, oh, it's perfect. Yeah. That is a cool, that's, really that's actually cool. a terrifying Sasquatch right there. It's awesome. They had Thanks, a thing honey. where okay. if you bought that shirt, which was like a limited run or whatever mm. that day, wow. they were going to give away a certain number of um, mugs that were like special edition Sasquatch mugs. And I was hoping, and it was just to random wow, people. I was hoping you'd get it. Look at that. Though. I wanted you to have a Sasquatch mug. This is really awesome. It's really cool. I love that logo. Thank you. Okay, so our figgy is brewing. But until then, I figure, um, remember this game? You don't know my life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, Christine Freeland in Seattle sent this to us. Thanks, Christine. And we never played this blue deck, so I figured we could play a couple of these while we're just sitting here waiting for it how to this brew. One goes. It's just questions that we talk about. So you guys could probably play along. Yeah, you could. Especially go. if you have something juicy. And I busted out the lie detector oh test in case we need to consult <laughs> and find out some truths. Okay. We may not use it, but it's always good to have the lie detector test around. Carry one of those all the time. Because I've consulted the lie detector test on many occasions with us. If you don't know, let me show it to you. Should I get the GoPro? No. Well, let's hold it up. This was um, found in a dumpster <laughs> at Barnes and Noble, and it was a great find because it's really fun. It is, and it's very accurate. Very. It's a great piece of scientific equipment. Let's see. Here we go. Please. Don't remember how to do it. Okay. Don't block your face with it. Do you love putty? Oops, hold on. Don't say it. I, I was supposed to ask it, and then you're supposed to answer, and we push it. Wait. No, you ask? I ask, and then push it. Do you love putty? Yes. It doesn't know. It doesn't know? Oops. We always blow it. Ignore that. <laughs> okay. Do you love putty? Yes. Oh. I might have said it too fast. I said it too fast to breathe. It's true but... though. It was true. Okay. Putty's our dog, if you don't know. And who doesn't love Putty? <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. All right. So let's do it. We're going to find out. Is All this right. a game where we lie and stuff? No, no lies. We're just okay. telling the truth. While, this, while our figgy... You don't know my life. You don't know it. We'll see if we do know it. All right. Okay. What's something you're embarrassed to admit you can eat a whole lot of in one sitting? Not just that you can, but you're embarrassed about it. That's a weird question because I'm not embarrassed. I'm could, proud of what I could eat a lot of I in one sitting. I could eat a full tray of Rice Krispie treats. I could eat the buffet. I can eat a lot at a buffet. A whole restaurant buffet? I just mean, I'm not embarrassed about it, but I can eat, I can throw down at a buffet. 
Because well, I grew up at why in Reno. Be, there's nothing that would be embarrassing. No, that about. was something you had to be proud of because you're supposed to get your money's worth at a buffet. Let you go say. for the meats, you avoid the breads, which I never did. You never have mashed potatoes, which I always got. We gotta go you to gotta the other question. Stuff. So you're not embarrassed about anything? I'm not embarrassed about anything that I could eat a lot of. Well, I'm proud of it. The only things I'm I've seen you eat it. that you can eat a lot of is um, tacos for some reason. You can have a lot of tacos. Not any taco. Like if I make tacos, those crunchy ones in I the like whole thing, they're not even anything special. He can eat a lot of those. Yeah. And he can eat a lot of Jack in the Box, Jack in the box tacos. tacos. Uh, and I guess you could be embarrassed of that. I'm not though. Yeah, I know. I'm, let me ask a question. Okay. It's not a good, if you're not embarrassed about it, then it's not a good question. Yeah. You know, how many people have you ran over? I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> okay. What was your most memorable Halloween costume? Okay. Oh, we've talked about this before. Yeah, there's only one. And it was, uh, I, I went as Armando. Steph made it. They made an Armando costume for me. It was a giant butt. Come on in, Armando. Oh, no, no. What? no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Hola. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, everybody. And he was a Not hemorrhoid about, coming out of it. Yeah. Armo, because Armando Steve had a hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid a long time ago. Yep. And he named it Armando. Because he was um, spicy and hot. Because he'd eaten a whole bag of jalapeno uh, chips, and he thinks that's what did it. I think it is what did it. What is yours? Aren't we both doing it? I remember we talked about this just recently. I liked those vampire teeth. They were really fun because you got to melt them in yeah. and they snapped in place. That was fun. Do I look on the other side or no? No, there's nothing on the other You don't know my life. No. Um, okay, what's your favorite thing about staying home sick from school? Did you ever stay home sick from school? I did that and I also just didn't go. But when you're a kid, you have to cut school. I mean, you can't just not my go. My favorite thing was the fact that I wasn't going. I didn't have What did like you a, do all day when you were not there? Because your mom wouldn't have let it happen. Well, at when the ages that I, there was times when my parents, they were both working. Figgy's done, hold on. I'm gonna go grab it. Hold on, that was a Figgy thing. Should I pause it? No. And then come back? No. Well anyways, I had done that before when both parents were gone. And I just, I hey, just. What'd you do, hang out at home and play games? Didn't, didn't have games when I was a kid. You're lucky to have oxygen. Um, what did you do then? Yeah, I would just, I would do my normal, like I'd go outside and do stuff. Like, by yourself? Well, you trying did, to pretend like you It wasn't sick? like I, I ever dark. had like a, a big conspiracy where a bunch of us stayed home sick. There were times that several people would ditch. I did go to Tijuana one time when I ditched. I mean, my friend did. Okay. In case we need to... Um, oh, add a little... Oh! We're gonna try it first, but in case we need a little bit of. We got our both are we're both using Ember mugs from uh, Anna and two days. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Anna. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, here we go. The first the time figgy. having figgy coffee. Smells good. Smells like coffee. No. It smells exactly like coffee. Ooh. I like it. Has it. a nice aftertaste. Let me see the lie detector, please. <laughs> so, Please pass just the light to remind detector. me, I, I push it, ask a question, and then you... You ask a question, then push it. How does it hear me talking then? It doesn't. It only listens to what I'm saying. Okay. I asked the question, <laughs> it's going to be, does it have a good aftertaste? Yes. Ah, now, here's what I say. Let me see. Does it have a good like aftertaste? It. Yes. I thought so too. No, obviously you don't. I do. Then why'd you, you why'd you tell me to get the lie detector test out? You thought it was gross. Because I didn't believe you. I like it. I feel like it is a good coffee alternative. It has a bitterness or something to it. It, it has a... If you gave this to somebody unknowingly, they would say, what kind of coffee is this? Yeah, like a weird, like a weird Colombian yeah. brew or something. Which coffee is this? Oh, this is the... Uh, Fig brew. This is Antarctica. There's no, uh, way, there's no way anybody's it's had It's the Icelandic coffee. coffee. 
It's the beans that grow, the co co say, cocoa beans. Yeah, they were frozen beans. Not cocoa. Beans. What are they? Coffee it's beans? made with frozen coffee beans. Hmm. Well, I would think this could suffice. If I was not having any coffee and I was dying and jonesing for a cup, this would definitely help. If you were dying and this was this was the only alternative, would it would it satisfy you? No. <laughs> I didn't say satisfy, I said suffice. <laughs> I said suffice. If I'm dying for coffee, I want but, coffee, but Steph, the it, machine it'll doesn't work. lie. It'll suffice. I told the truth. The machine doesn't lie, people lie. This is a this is a machine. I said this, the truth. I got it right. Has no ulterior motives. She has no skin. Okay. <laughs> that was my way to get him off. But no, that was okay. That's fine. What are you doing with that tiny? I know. Thing? I just didn't want to take your piece. I was taking a piece off of mine. How do you know which piece was mine? There was a piece that was a piece of a piece. You don't just go picking at mine and then all of a sudden yours becomes the bigger piece. This is an autoimmune protocol friendly. Cookie. It's a oh, you're snickerdoodle. Gonna, you gonna dip in my coffee? Oh, I'm not dipping. Cheers. I don't really like a dip. Mm. It's soft today. I thought it was gonna be crunchy. Mm. Mm. That is a, that's a good cookie. There's now. good coconut aftertaste to it. When I make the next yeah. batch of these, which I have dough in the fridge and it's rock hard. Um, is that good? Or well, it's frozen I, no, much? I think the coconut oil, you know how it's liquefied in heat? I think it just went rock hard in there. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't know how I'm gonna make a cookie ball out. I'll have to let it thaw for a while. Um, I mean, here, let me show it to you. This is really hot, but man, this is good. This is good coffee. And if I threw this at your head, you would die. Most, well, then don't throw it at my head. Feel that? That is. It's like a piece of stone. I know. It feels like a piece of stone. You sure it's not granite? We're eating that right now. Cooked. That's yes. what we're eating, yeah. That was in the freezer then. No, it's the fridge. I How can't break imagine it. Imagine what the freezer would do. Yeah. Yeah, you got a situation there that you need to rectify. I wonder if I could take a bite of this. No, no. Why? I just dropped a piece in there. Uh-oh. Ah. Well, there's no egg or anything in this. Emergency. What are you fishing up for? It's gone. That thing's disintegrated in there. You don't think I can scoop it up? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you can scoop it out? Yes. He wouldn't have gotten the spoon if he thought it was a no. He doesn't. It's, Woo, he, he caught it. Stupid. It stayed? Yeah. They didn't even get to see it. <laughs> oh! Oh, I guess you can't see it, but it's on this card. It's on the table. There's a little bit of it. All right, let me clean up. Man, this is turning into a Did debacle. it splash into your coffee and splash out? Or what happened there? I don't know what happened. I don't know how that part happened. Figgy coffee is oh, very brown. Oh, this is figgy. Yeah. I wonder if that's better for the table. Oh, yeah, we're just staining the table back up. Yeah. Perfect. I think it is. I don't okay, know. do you think figgy will be better with some coconut milk in it? Um, I bet that cookie's good dipped you know in what? coconut milk. I don't know, but we're going to try it because we want to know. Okay. But that thing, it's like anyway, cookie survived and then something happened. Try this. Smash your teeth hard on it. Hmm. It's weird how hard it is this way, but it doesn't have like, the compressive strength of it is super hard. But the other type... The, you can shave a piece off. Yeah, you can easily shave a piece so off. So I could take a knife and cut these into little How weird is that? It's so hard, but you can... Easily shave off a piece from the edge. That's hard. Yeah, that's weird. All right, I got the spoon ready for any more debacles. Okay. okay. Um, next question. Describe a memorable encounter you had with an animal. A memorable encounter with an animal. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh. Mm. I remember you were there too. Um. <laughs> what? The one you're about to tell, I'm not there. Um, Am I right? Maybe I have two now that. Okay. Now you're gonna change it. No, I gotta pick one. You gotta pick the one you were gonna say. Okay. Which is the one? Okay, the one that I, I remember, know. a memorable one that came to mind. Okay, 
phone change. So the one I remember is a little dog, a little cute little dog was hanging out the window, his little paws, and he was breathing and, you know, loving it. And this is in our, we were driving. Right down the street down there. Yeah, down the main, the the main the street. intersection of the street. Mm -hmm, by the casino. And um, we saw it coming. We're like, that dog is not strapped in. And it he's was hanging out like by Like his, his elbows and everything. Oh. And then she flipped a U-turn, like a crazy U-turn. Dog flew out and rolled. And we got out and like yelled at her. And t cars were coming. Yeah. What well, are you Steph, doing? Why would Steph you do that? jumps out and there's cars coming. Yeah. So she's you might have yelled cars, at her. And, you know, we, we pulled over, like kind of blocked a little bit. And then it was so bad. And then we got in our car and then I got next to her and I just let her have it. Yeah. She was an idiot. Like, and it wasn't was her dog. Idiot. She was like pet sitting or something. It wasn't her dog. She didn't even get out of the car. Her dog was, or the pet that she was pet sitting went tumbling over her asphalt. Awful. So, anyways, nice, nice story. Thanks. I think your cookie doesn't taste as well. Well, here. This is half your cookie and half no, mine. No, I'm not eating it. Oh, yeah. Was, okay, I'll eat this part. Um, okay, so my story. Okay. I was going to put a little of this in there. It's a little strong. You, the first one that popped in my head, you said I had to tell. Okay. But there was the other one I was going Just say tell. which ones the two are. One, um, the, set, the one that didn't pop in my head this? first was with you. Okay. And that donkey. Oh, yeah. They've heard that one. The other one. Don't, stir, don't touch the bottom with that. I'm not touching even the sides. Okay. The coconut milk in our, in our figgy. That figgy's a little strong for me. Oh, it's good now. Very figgy. It's better with the coconut in it. <laughs> Do you hate the figgy? I'm not gonna get the light. Okay, hold on. No, I like figgy. I, I like figgy. Do you, oh. Do you hate the figgy? No. I'm batting 100. Okay, anyway, so your story. I was walking Jerry, and we go to this place where you have to go up this big hill. It's like a hike. Isn't it weird that I knew this was going to be it? What else is there? This is. I thought of another one after that that you would like to tell. So we'll go up this hill that we've been up many times. You get to the top of the hill, you can see all over our town. Like you could, it oversees the whole town. And then the hill on the backside. There's a sign up there. It's Indian Reservation. Duncan, okay. just to see. And and then it just goes down, and there's this like a narrow path. But when you're walking up the hill to get to the top, it's about five foot wide, I would say. That's a beaten path, and it's kind of rugged and steep, and you know it's it's not a super easy getting up. And all the on all the sides is just like sagebrush and stuff. And I would say that's all about four feet high. So just picture that. It's all sagebrush. The trail goes up, and when you get to the top, there's a walking path going this way. So and there's like nothing a, up there. It's a mountain. No, there's nothing. And there's, so it's like an intersection that you come to. And you can turn left, and that goes a little ways, but it stays on the top of the ridge. Or you turn right, and you the go The road less traveled. The, this, to the right, <laughs> then you can go down another one and get into really a ride. If you push your mountain bike up there, you can ride down. So we're going up. We've done this many, many times. And Jerry wasn't on the leash either. And um, he was ahead of me and he's just like really just into the walk. And I'm looking up and where the, the intersection is, so you got all the sagebrush, all of a sudden I seen it looked like slow motion, a mountain lion walking across. It would be like, this is a hallway. That's what it feels like. Cause you got the brush walking across real slow. And like right now, I got goosebumps. You see my goosebumps? Every time you tell the story, you get them. It scared me so bad. So I froze and Jerry stopped too. Like, and I didn't even say anything. I just froze. I was like, oh my goodness. And it went real slow and didn't even look our direction. And it was just, it was huge. And the tail was really long. And it was just like a, ah, oh, it was so scary. And as soon as it passed. <laughs> it didn't even look at you. <laughs> didn't even look. It just went like this. Like I, you'd be seeing it going like this. Maybe it was seeing something up there, stalking Maybe. something, I don't know. It wasn't down like this though. It was just like out for a, a casual walk. Hmm. 
And so now the going down, the thing was so steep, it was harder going down than it was going up. More difficult, you know, like not endurance wise, just more difficult footing. And so I put Jerry's, he had a collar on, but I hooked Jerry up and then I was just like, and I turned, once I turned my back, then I got real scared. Yeah. And we're trying to make it down this hill and you're going real slow and, and it's, man, that was terrifying. Anyways, we obviously make it to the bottom, but the whole time till we got to the bottom, I just kept picturing that thing jumping on the back of my neck. Your neck, not Jerry's neck? No, nah, I wouldn't let him get Jerry. Oh, you let him get your neck? Yeah. Okay, the other story I thought you might tell would be the, mon the monkeys riding their dogs. Is that when I was in Hawaii? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell it. Tell I'm it. I'm gonna tell one. <coughs> when I was a kid in Hawaii, they actually had a rodeo one time, which was weird in Hawaii, right? But they had a rodeo. Yeah, they have to like ship in all the rodeo. They have cowboys in Hawaii. Horses not. and stuff. There's cowboys out there that ride on. Well, it's like, the same ones every year then, island. I guess. No, it was it was a rodeo. Like they did travel. Yeah. And uh, probably because there was a big military presence there, and they bring that. But I remember going to that rodeo, and part of the show was they brought a bunch of sheep out. And then, I didn't know it at the time, but it was border collies. These border collies come out, and they're just freaking flying, and they're herding these, and they had monkeys on their back. <laughs> and the monkey... <laughs> this, this was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life, like as far as just pure joy. Because I'm looking, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And when they take off, the dogs are going so fast that the monkey's like this, and then the monkey's like this. <laughs> like they were, every time they would turn, the monkey would go like, say this is the monkey. When the dog turned like this, the monkey would be <laughs> literally like that. And then when he'd get straightened out, the dog would turn this way, and then the monkey, it was, and then, the, then I started thinking, they're tied on to him. I thought that, you know. They for, were holding on though, right? They were holding on, because at the end, like those monkeys are just, it's just insane with the dogs. They probably sheep. loved it. And then when they, at the end, they run over to the, the guy and the monkeys jump off the dogs onto him. That's like so they cool. jump up on his shoulders. It's probably not allowed like, to happen anymore. Probably well, those things jumped on him like, stuff. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So or got, they got treats. I got two stories in, so. Yeah. All right, so, so what's the next question? Well, that was the end. Oh, that was the end then. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite smell and why? My favorite smell? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a weird question, huh? I never think about it. I think it. fresh baked bread is so yummy. Wow, what do you guys think? So yummy. Also cookies cooking. Man, what would be my favorite smell? That's a hard one. Can you think of anything I've smelled and I was like, oh man, it smells so coffee? good. Coffee? I think, I guess I'll go with coffee because I can't think of anything. Yeah, coffee smells good too. Man. I want to see some comments on that. What about because... like a steak or something? No, I wouldn't say it was my favorite smell. Okay, let me think. What's Coffee's you love really the smell good. Of? I've smelled some, sometimes I've smelled like. Oh, you used to love that one pomegranate candle. There was a candle yes, that you loved. There was, and recently you, you had one that was, you brought it in the car and I was like, wow. Yeah, but a little, that a little goes linen. too long, you know? Yeah, that might've been linen. No. I'm just saying it. <laughs> Yeah. I think it was like a gardenia or something. Hey, what's something that you're good at that might surprise people? Um, you don't know my life. I feel like you guys do know our lives. So saying that we're good at something that would surprise people. I'm good at juggling. That's not a surprise. I don't go around doing it like ever. I've never even done a video on it. A video? You know, like full blown juggling video. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might like to that see that. That might surprise some people. They might be like, I don't think that dude. I think they'd be surprised if they saw the video. They would be expecting it to be some crazy juggling, like 50 <laughs> items. It's just three balls juggled. Just three balls. Can I mean, you do it? No. Okay, I'm, don't, don't I'm say unsurprisingly very bad at it. You know what? That isn't that is a nice way the way you no, said that. No, I'm I'm just preparing them in case you do a juggling a, video. There's a lot of things that you do well that people would be surprised by. I don't think so. I think they know everything by now. Hmm. And I can't say I do anything very well. I You're really you're I, really good at fixing things. I'm not. You're I'm good really at not. electronics. No. You're good at um, stuff on the computer. You're no. good at puzzles. You're really good at puzzles. 
Um, Mental puzzles. Not, no, not puzzles that you oh, put together. Oh, I'm like, that is weird. We've done one puzzle no. together. No, I'm well, a couple puzzles our, now. Whatever it's called when you have to... Like a mind you, game. Yeah. I can do those. Whatever that's called. You but I'm not... That. I wouldn't say I'm really good at pretty much anything. It might surprise people. That, it might. That's true. It might. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. You're really good at math. <laughs> it might surprise... That would surprise everyone. They've seen our math. What might surprise you guys <laughs> is that I did accounting. <laughs> before this but no, if the you, funny thing is you've seen videos where we're both going like we are <laughs> we've what, lost what our did, math skills what did you just ask me about an hour ago oh no it was when I was making the coffee I'm like <laughs> how many ounces is um, 7 times 5 <laughs> is that 45 and that's 8 times 5 yeah <laughs> it's 35 but our times tables I'm forgetting them I'm totally yeah. forgetting them even the 5's I forgot the 5 what surprises me about myself sometimes mm -hmm. is when I do like, like oh, no. the vault. No, there's certain the roller decks. Yes, when I go into my roller decks in there, and I'm like, man, I can just see everything. That surprises me. Why? You're in there all the time, seeing stuff in there. Like right now, if you ask me some question and I'm not really in tune, I'll be like, man, I should know that. I don't Name know three it. Nicolas Cage movies. We just talked about him. And I know. I, I can't think of one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Consult the but Rolodex. When I'm in, I don't waste it on Nicholas Cage. You can't just say when you're wasting it or not. I can't say How when I'm wasting it. Because what if I have it's one like more try have... in the vault? If I have one more try in the vault, you're in wasting my it on life, stupid I'm stuff. I'm not doing then. it on Nicholas Cage. <laughs> no, you're the one that, that's trying to waste my. I know. I know intuitively. Okay. Don't. I know you can think that. of one Nicholas Cage movie. Airplane. I don't think he's in that. <laughs> See, I'm not going I can't think of any. What about the movie? Hellrider. Of the Hellraiser or whatever. Is that, is that the what one? It's called? I don't know. We have that. Remember when we got it in that um, the storage unit? Storage unit. We never sold that picture. We just found it in the back of our closet, up against the wall. We're trying to clean out the house. Not that it looks like it. But we've been it's going a, through cupboards and getting rid of junk. It's a. Because I've been watching poster, horror. A signed movie poster or something like that. Yeah. And, and there was. Copies or whatever. I yeah. And I was like, let's donate that. So he's like, that's expensive. Mm -hmm. So. And he said, maybe we'll give it to Dean. Because yeah, Dean's in It's got a guy with his stuff. head on fire. Dean loves that stuff. I know he does. The guy wasn't dead, though. That's how he goes. He goes around on fire. I know, but Dean's five. He just turned five. <sighs> I, know. I know. All right. Hey, what's something you can't believe you physically hurt yourself doing? Hmm. Hmm? I can't believe it? Oh. You don't know my life. When I broke my foot. That's a good one. That was a really good one because... That's um, a, a, I've told this before too. I can't remember. Did I do this when we were doing YouTube? It feels like I'm drinking coffee right now. Yeah, well, especially eat it's the rest of your cookie. Your, no, I ate half of yours already. That's yours. Um, we were doing YouTube. Were we? When I had it? Maybe not. No, I don't, I don't think know. we were. We were doing reselling though. Um, so I woke up in the middle of the night and for some reason for a while there, my legs were falling asleep in the middle of the night. And one of them, I mean, it wasn't like a weird thing. I just must have been in a weird position and it was asleep. Yeah. But I woke up to pee in the middle of the night like I always do. And I walked to, I got out of bed and I, instead of walking like this on your foot, mm. or we'll do it this way, I walked like this, like I, I peg legged it. It popped too. I peg legged it and it snapped really loud. Yeah. And Steve woke up from it. Yeah. Like it popped and I was like, oh, that was weird. And then I go to the bathroom, get back in the bed and I was like, uh, that might not have been good. I guess we'll find out in the morning or whatever if it's swollen or whatever. But it was broke. Yeah, I, and so I went for days on it like that, and it just was. I was walking on it like I got good at walking on it. A weird thing on my heel, doing this weird little. It's always good. Just thing. do that. Don't ever go to. The doctor. Well, I thought I might have just sprained it. There's nothing they could do really for a sprain. Put a boot on it, which is ultimately what. Well, we did it. find a boot. Remember. Um, yeah. I don't remember, but anyway, it was stupid. The way I broke my foot, when I went to the doctor, the doctor said, there's no way you broke it there. The way you described it. The way you it. described it, because you wouldn't be able to walk in yeah. here like you did. And I was like, yeah, okay, that's good. And so he scanned it, did the x-ray, and sure enough, it was yeah, you totally did break broken. It. And the weird thing was, all of my cousins, the girl cousins, there was some weird leg thing going on that year. Um, Sarah, you guys met Sarah, the blonde one. Oh, yeah. She ripped her Achilles heel or something. Yeah, Laura did something and was in a cast or something. Tanisha had a 
walking boot on. All Lisa the girls. did something to her foot. All of us, and we're all really clumsy. Um, I can't remember. We all had leg injuries of, of a foot was or leg region. It was super weird. That was a weird time. All the other women started being like, uh oh, yeah. coming our way. So Tanisha just hurt her leg. And um, I was like, uh oh, I hope this isn't the beginning of all of us having a little, another yeah. leg round. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah, that was weird. But anyway, they could do nothing. They did nothing to my foot. I told you to get a boot. I got a boot, but I mean, they didn't even give me a boot. I had to find one on a local app. Somebody had one in their garage they never used, and I used that. It was perfect. Yeah. What, what about yours? That something I've heard myself surprise myself doing. Hmm. I think whenever I've gotten hurt, I wasn't surprised that it hurt. Like yours is weird. Yeah, it was weird. Like you were I didn't just, think it was you were broken. Just walking with a sleep sleepy leg. <laughs> with a dead leg. The other day when I stuck my hand in that burning olive oil, that that was a surprise. Yeah. Nothing major though. I wasn't surprised by it. Well, yeah, you were. You had to be. It's like, what just happened? Well, I got splattered all over the place during that video. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about your foot. You weren't surprised. Oh, no, yeah, I was surprised. That was surprising. Yeah. I, I, anytime I've gotten hurt, I wasn't surprised that it hurt. Okay. What gift that you received do you vividly remember unwrapping? The actual unwrapping part? Yeah. I don't mm. remember unwrapping anything. Well, Unwrapping? Yeah. Like maybe a kid thing? I Did you get gifts when you were a kid? Yeah. Wow, but I don't. Lucky. I'm sure you got some too. I know your mom has said whenever she'd ask you what you wanted, you didn't want anything. I didn't want anything. But that. I'm sure you got some stuff. Probably like underwear and stuff. <laughs> maybe some sports stuff. Aftershave. Yeah. I don't remember unwrapping anything, really. Like, All right. That's a lame question. Okay. Because you know why? You the next know. one's lame too. Life. What? Okay, let's go to this one. What's What's the worst job you ever had? You don't know my life. The worst job you've ever had. Hmm. I've never had a job I didn't like. You are so lucky. I've really, and I've been at every job I've had quite a long time. Okay. What's the worst I've ever? I think it was when paper I was paperboy. <laughs> paperboy in Hawaii. I became a paperboy later on when I was a little older, but when I was a paperboy in Hawaii, I was like in I elementary say, school. I want to say fourth grade or something. Yeah. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And you didn't have any sense of direction. None, none whatsoever. <laughs> and I remember, like, but I did remember there was a kid in our the building we lived in, and I would see him like doing the papers and stuff and he had a bike and whatnot and he just seemed you know seemed like a cool dude and one day i was just talking to him about it and he said yeah you want to do it and he was older he's a teenager and i said yeah so hook me up with the people they come out talk to my mom and i guess my mom's like oh yeah he can, he can handle it yeah so next she didn't day, even like drive you around and go okay no. there's this house and this one and this one here's what they did my first day so the next day I started, the first day, this guy came, picked me up in a van. Don't go in vans. Down by the river? Kids. This didn't turn into one of those. But, get in the van. So now we're in a van, driving through a neighborhood I've never been to, because we hadn't even been in Hawaii, you know, or that area where we lived. We wasn't there. That was fairly fresh. So he drives me around, this house, this house, this house. He gives me all these, you know, telling me the houses. And then that's it. That was it. So he did point out which ones. I'm driving around. I'm not really paying attention <laughs> in a van. And the next day I get papers dropped off. I have to fold them all, you know, do the rubber band. And then I got the bag. And now I'm off in the dark, walking around, not knowing where to you're put like these things. You're like 10 years old when you're in fourth grade, right? Yeah. Nine, 10. The main thing was I didn't know what I was doing. I know. That's the big. So I didn't know what I was doing. So I, I was just, I ended up like ditching the papers. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know, I didn't know what to do. And then I was crying because I didn't know where I was. I couldn't even find my way back home. <laughs> That's a bad job. It is bad. Okay. How old is Alex next door? 
He probably would have did fine. But. I know. <laughs> I'm just thinking about. He wasn't, he's not in the fourth grade. Is he like grade. 12 or something? Oh, he's like 14. He's almost in high school. 14? He's almost in high school. Okay, yeah, big deal. Okay, I got another one when I was like junior high and I crushed it. So oh. That's, that's, and I was juggling as well. All right. Okay. Anyways. Anyway, that's good enough, huh? Yeah. Oh, who was your biggest celebrity crush when you were growing up? Like a... I know mine. So mine was Richard Grieco. I was in Not love. George Michael? No, I never liked George Michael. I love his music. I never liked him. Ugh. I was in love with, with Richard Grieco. I thought I was going to marry him. Tony on Jump Street. I'm going to say... <laughs> I had his posters all over my walls. The, I think Laura did too. The like first I can remember, and I think everybody, like, everybody that's my age, guys, everybody had the Farrah Fawcett uh -huh. poster. Yeah, with the braids. Were you allowed no, to have that? No, it wasn't braids. When she's coming out of the water? Oh, that's the Farrah Fair one. That's right. All, not the... She what's had her all name? her hair like that. Yeah, she had all feathered. Um, I would have to say... Everybody had that. Were you allowed to have that on your wall? Did you have it on your wall? Yeah. What do you mean allowed? Like behind the door or whatever? No, I just had it on the wall. Oh, okay. What do you mean I allowed? just can't picture your mom. Nobody knew I lived there. <laughs> I'm serious. Did you have your own room? I was very low key. Yes. I, I don't even think... Did your any, sisters have to share ever... a room? No. They had their own room too? Man. Maybe not all the time, but at that... Oh, I guess you're moving around yeah. all the time. But I think I I'm serious. I don't I don't know if my parents ever went into my room. Probably not. I really don't. I don't I don't remember them ever coming up there and talking to me in there or anything. <laughs> uh, I don't. We should ask your mom. Did you ever go in Steve's room? Who cleaned it? I stayed away from Aaron. I don't think it was super dirty or anything. I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> anything I, I don't know how I got here. I really don't. I know. I just have like... Things you know, just show up for yeah. you. It's a weird existence. I know. I know it's it. It's a good one now. Because I, I, I run it, I guess. <laughs> I, got, I help you get here. The last you, 20 years have go gotten you here. And I get to go in your room. And you can have Tara Fawcett on the wall if you want. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's funny. Oh. Um, right, okay. Coffee was... Uh, I think you didn't finish really your, your cookie, please. I can't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat here pretty soon. Eat the cookie. No. Nope. We can't throw it away. It's your cookie. I know, but I already ate mine. I'm done. I ate half the I don't yours. want any more. This bit of cookie is going if in the trash. If you eat half, I'll eat half. Nope. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your life. Oh, the figgy. I would say yes, it's good. Yeah, I like and, it. And um, would I'm I buy it again, though? I probably won't unless I read a bunch of stuff about it. If it was really cheap, I would get it. But yeah, it's good for you. If you can't drink coffee, and you're it's Jones in, a we'll good keep alternative. It. I'm gonna, at some point, I'll introduce coffee back in, when it gets to the end. Eggs are gonna be my first thing, and then coffee will be somewhere in there. I haven't been having any coffee issues at all. None. Because you've been having tea, which is strong. I'm having green tea. If I couldn't have coffee or and tea, mate. I would drink this. For sure. Because yeah. I need something hot and Sitting yummy. Sitting here drinking this, I feel like I've been drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. It has that same... Bitterness. You know, after you do a, a drink, you have that thing that stays on your tongue? Yeah. It's doing the same thing. Aftertaste. Okay, do you want to um, do any last lies? Oh! Let's ask them one. Let me ask you one. Okay, you know how we've been clearing out everything in our house? <clears throat> Steve went through and got rid of like every single thing in his closet. He has like 10 shirts hanging up. All of them. Did you throw, or did you donate your red shorts? No. Oh. What's your problem? I haven't seen them. I haven't washed them. He didn't. Why would I donate Where are them? they? <laughs> Why would I donate my red shorts? I just didn't know how extreme you got. You I mean, only kept like you know one I pair of two, pants. Two shorts. I know, but you just got a few new pairs of shorts. I got, and he I got, got rid of all of his old shorts. Bathing suit. Yeah, you guys have seen that in the yoga video. My, my red basketball shorts. Okay, um, I just haven't seen them, so I didn't know if those were in the in yep. the thing. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Are you ready? Yeah. Remember, you're talking. You're trying to, to think him. something up. No, I have two, but I'm only gonna ask one. You can ask two. Yeah. You're talking to a machine. I know. That's a lie detector. You must tell the truth. Right. Is Jerry better than Putty? 
No. <laughs> what? Are you out of your mind? Better than? Yes. He's not better than. Are you kidding? What? She hasn't lived long enough to be as good as he Is was. Is Jerry better than Putty? He's not better than her. Oh! oh. <laughs> I meant... <laughs> she's not better than him. <laughs> no, you already answered it. You told the truth. No, but I really you told misunderstood the it truth. the other way. I was wondering why you were so shocked. I thought you read it, said it to me wrong. No. Pat, Jerry's better. <laughs> I, I'm going to see what you did in the video. I'll see the face you made. No, I really, truly thought that that's what you meant. But... Well, you, it says you I'm going to have to say they're... She hasn't been around as long, so I can't say that they're equal. She's fantastic, and I am in love with that dog. But Jerry was the best dog in the world. Yeah. So, um, but she's a great dog. I love her so much. I think she might be Jerry. She could be. Let's find out. Sure. Let's ask her. Is Putty Jerry? Yes. Mm, yeah, she's not. She's got some things that are different. Maybe I was lying. Oh, maybe. You ask me. Is Putty Jerry? No. It doesn't know. Ask me. Is Jerry putty? Yes. Yes! We got him back! Woo! Yes! We got right, then, he, then I was right. You were. She is the best dog in the world. There you go, guys. And you, we got her got him her twice. You've seen it here. <sighs> and this is Don't science. lie. You don't know my life. You don't know my life. Thanks, Christine, for sending that. That was fun again. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your life. Bye. So bring us the video.